you'd be shocked how many diesel engines die young. Not because of broken parts or bad fuel, but because of oil problems. In my shop, I'd say well over 70% of diesel engine failures come from using the wrong oil, waiting too long to change it, or believing internet myths that sound smart but aren't. And here's the crazy part. Most drivers don't even know these myths are slowly killing their engines. Mechanics rarely tell you this stuff, but I will. Stick around because one of these claims is so common I bet you believed it at least once in your life. Let's get started. Myth number 19. Synthetic diesel oil lasts forever. Let's be real. No oil lasts forever. I've pulled out black sludgy messes from trucks where the owner swore, it's full synthetic, it should still be fine. Here's the truth. Synthetic diesel oil does last longer than old conventional oil. It handles the high heat soot and heavy loads diesel engines create but it still picks up soot, unburned fuel, and microscopic metal shavings every single mile. That's just how engines work. If you've ever smelled bad oil, you know it. It's got that sharp, burnt, sour odor. And you can feel the difference too. Fresh, synthetic diesel oil is slick. Old oil feels gritty and thin, like sand and water. If you really want to check your oil, try this. Let your engine warm up, turn it off, Wait about 30 seconds, then pull the dipstick, wipe it clean, dip again, and check the color. If it's dark black, smells burnt, and feels rough, that oil's cooked. Verdict. Total myth. Even the best synthetic diesel oil breaks down. It lasts longer, sure, but not forever. Myth number 18. Once you go synthetic, you can't go back. This one makes me laugh every time. There's no secret chemical that locks your diesel engine into one type of oil. I've switched heavy-duty trucks from synthetic to conventional and back again. No issues at all. Your engine doesn't care what brand or type you use. It only cares that the oil meets the right grade and specs. If your owner's manual says 15WL40, then use 15WL40. Doesn't matter if it's synthetic, blend, or conventional. Just match the viscosity and look for the API CK4 or FA4 certification on the label. That's what proves it meets diesel standards. Some folks panic when a quick lube shop mixes different oils. Don't. Worst case, you lose a bit of performance or protection until your next oil change. Your truck's not gonna blow up. Verdict, 100% myth. You can switch oils anytime, just stick to the correct grade and certification. Myth number 17. Synthetic oil causes leaks in older diesel engines. This rumor's been around for decades and I still hear it weekly. People switch to synthetic, then see oil spots on the driveway and instantly blame the oil. But here's the truth, synthetic oil doesn't cause leaks. It only exposes the ones already there. Older diesel engines have dried out seals and gaskets. Conventional oil tends to leave sticky buildup that seals up those weak spots. When you switch to synthetic, its strong detergents clean that old grime away, and suddenly those leaks become visible. I remember working on an old power stroke that started leaking right after the owner switched to full synthetic. He thought the oil ate his seals. Nope, the seals were already hard and brittle. The synthetic just cleaned off the gunk hiding the cracks. If you've got a high mileage diesel, do this before switching. Wipe around your valve covers, rear main seal, and oil pan gasket. If you see wet edges or baked on crud, be ready. Leaks might show up once the new oil flushes things out. Verdict, half true. Synthetic doesn't cause leaks. It just reveals the ones your engine already had. And now that we've cleared up those myths, let's move into something diesel owners really deal with. Cold starts and how the right oil can make or break your engine on freezing mornings. Diesel engines don't need thin oil in winter. A lot of old school drivers believe diesel trucks should always run thick oil like 15 watt each 40, no matter the weather. But here's the truth, when it's cold, that thick oil turns into something like molasses. It struggles to flow through the tiny oil passages in your engine, especially at startup. And that's a big deal. Almost 80% of engine wear happens during startup, before the oil even reaches all the moving parts. If your oil is too thick in freezing weather, it can take several seconds for it to reach the camshaft, bearings and turbo, during that time, those metal parts grind dry against each other. That's why you'll see many diesel oils labeled 5W, 40, or even 0W, 40. They're designed for cold starts. The W stands for winter, 
and the lower the number before it, the easier your oil flows in cold weather. So if you live somewhere that freezes up every winter morning, go with 5W40 or 0W40 synthetic diesel oil. Your engine will start faster, run smoother, and your battery won't have to struggle as hard either. Myth busted. Diesel engines do need thinner oil in cold climates, unless you enjoy fighting your truck every frosty morning. Myth number 15. You can go 15,000 miles between diesel oil changes. Look, I get it, synthetic oils are expensive, and when the label says extended performance, it's tempting to push it. But the reality, diesel engines work a lot harder than gasoline ones. They generate more soot, more heat, and more pressure, and that dirties up your oil fast. Even the best full synthetic diesel oil will be full of soot long before 15,000 miles. If you tow, idle a lot, or drive in dusty areas, that number should drop even lower closer to 5,000, 7,000 miles. I've seen guys brag about going 20,000 miles on a single oil change. Then they pull their drain plug and wonder why it comes out thick as tar. That sludge builds up, blocks oil passages, and can choke your turbo bearings. A good rule of thumb? Check your oil color and level every couple of fill-ups. If it's jet black and smells burnt, change it no matter what the odometer says. Total myth. Diesel oil doesn't last forever. Frequent oil changes are cheap insurance for a very expensive engine. Myth number 14. All engine oils are the same, diesel or gasoline. It doesn't matter. This one is more dangerous than people realize. Gasoline engine oil and diesel engine oil are not the same thing. Diesel oil has extra detergents and additives that help clean soot and carbon buildup from high compression combustion. Gasoline oils, on the other hand, are tuned for lighter duty engines that burn cleaner and don't make as much soot. If you use gasoline oil in a diesel engine, you're basically running without the heavy duty cleaners your engine needs. Over time, you'll get sticky piston rings, clogged EGR valves, and faster wear on your turbo. So always look for bottles marked for diesel engines or with certifications like API CK4 or FA4. That's the only way to make sure your oil has the protection your diesel needs. Dangerous myth. Gasoline oil and diesel oil are built for completely different jobs. Never mix them. Myth number 13. Diesel oil is always black. That's normal. Yes, diesel oil turns black faster than gasoline oil, but that doesn't mean it's always okay. A little darkness is fine, that's soot being suspended in the oil, doing its job. But thick, jet black oil that feels gritty, that's a sign it's time to change it. Think of it like a coffee filter. When it's fresh, it traps everything. But when it's full, it starts to overflow. Same with your oil, once it's saturated with soot, it can't clean or protect anymore. If you really want to know the condition, take a white paper towel, drop a few drops of oil on it, and let it sit for 10 minutes. If the center is black and the edges stay clear, your oil's still healthy. If the whole spot turns dark, it's time for a change. Partly true. Diesel oil turns black faster, but that doesn't mean it's always healthy. Myth number 12. Additives can fix any diesel engine problem. If you've ever walked down the oil aisle at a parts store, you've seen those shiny bottles promising to boost performance, stop leaks, or restore compression. Sounds good, right? But here's the real deal. Most of those additives are just marketing magic in a small bottle. Your diesel oil already has a full package of detergents, dispersants, anti-wear agents, and friction modifiers built in by the manufacturer. Adding more chemicals often messes up that balance. For example, I once had a customer pour a friction reducer into his Cummins engine. Within a few weeks, his oil pressure dropped and the oil turned gray and foamy. That additive clashed with the zinc and phosphorus already in the oil, making it lose viscosity. Unless your truck is extremely old and burning oil, you don't need any extra additives. Stick with a high-quality diesel oil that already meets API CK4 or FA4 standards. It's engineered to handle everything your engine needs, mostly meth. The right oil already contains the additives your engine needs. Anything extra is usually a waste of money. Myth number 11, the brand matters more than the specs. This one's everywhere. Guys swear by Shell Rotella. Others won't use anything but Mobile Delvac or Dello. And while those are all great oils, the truth is the brand name means less than the label's specs. Diesel oil isn't about loyalty, it's about chemistry. If two bottles meet the same API certification and viscosity rating, they'll protect your engine nearly the same way. 
Now sure, some premium oils have slightly better base stocks or cleaning performance, but not enough to make or break your engine. I've run everything from Walmart Supertech 15 YD40 to Amsoil Signature. And guess what? No difference in wear, no difference in oil pressure, as long as I change it on time. The only time brand really matters is if your truck has a manufacturer-specific spec, like Ford's WSS M2C71F1 or Cummins CES 2008 -6. Otherwise, pick the one that fits your budget and change it regularly. Myth busted. Brand loyalty doesn't protect your engine, regular maintenance does. Myth number 10. Diesel oil boosters add horsepower. This one's almost funny. Some brands claim their oil reduces friction for more power. While that sounds exciting, it's mostly marketing spin. Sure, a smoother running engine might feel slightly better, but we're talking maybe one or two horsepower at best, not something you'll ever notice. The only real power gain comes from proper lubrication that keeps everything clean and prevents internal drag. If your truck feels sluggish, don't blame the oil. Look at clogged fuel filters, dirty air filters, or a tired turbo that's where your performance is disappearing. Myth: Diesel oil can protect and clean not magically add horsepower. Myth number 9. Diesel oil never needs a flush. This one's half true. Normally, your oil and filter change is enough to clean out old oil. But sometimes, especially on high mileage or neglected trucks, a flush can help. Here's the trick though. Never use harsh chemical flushes that promise instant cleaning. They can break off sludge chunks too quickly and block tiny oil passages or turbo lines. If you really want to clean your system safely, switch to a high detergent synthetic diesel oil and shorten your next oil change interval. That gradual cleaning process is much safer than dumping in a can of mystery fluid. Or better yet, if you've just bought an older used diesel truck, do this. Run your first oil change with a cheaper synthetic for about 2,000-3,000 miles. Then switch to your long-term oil. That first short run acts like a mild flush. No chemicals, no risk. Partly true, flushing can help, but only if done gently and correctly. Myth number 8. Newer diesel engines don't need heavy-duty oil anymore. With modern emission systems, a lot of people think newer diesels can run on lighter oils, like 10 wide or 30 or even passenger car oils. But that's a mistake that could cost you big time. Newer diesel engines still face high cylinder pressures, soot buildup, and turbo heat. They just do it more cleanly. That's why you'll see modern oils labeled FA4 instead of the old CJ4 or CK4. They're designed for better fuel economy without sacrificing protection. If you drive a 2020 ball model diesel, don't just grab any energy saving oil. Make sure it says for heavy duty diesel use on the label. Otherwise, your turbo EGR system and DPF could all take a hit from poor lubrication. Myth. Even modern diesel engines still need heavy-duty oil built for high pressure and soot control. Mistake number seven, tightening the oil filter too much. It might feel safer to crank that oil filter as tight as possible, but that's actually one of the most common rookie mistakes. Most filters only need to be hand tight, plus a three-quarter turn. That's when you over-tighten, the rubber gasket can warp or split, which causes leaks later on. Or worse, it'll stick so hard that you'll destroy the filter just trying to get it off during the next change. I've seen filters crushed, twisted, even punctured because someone thought tighter means better. Trust me, it doesn't. Pro tip, before installing, rub a bit of clean oil on the gasket, hand tighten the filter, and then add just a slight snug turn. Done. No tools needed, big mistake. Over-tightening can lead to leaks, stuck filters, or damaged threads. Mistake number six, not replacing the drain plug washer. This tiny part is often ignored, but it's super important. That little washer on your oil drain plug seals the hole tight. Once it gets old or flattened, it can start leaking slowly, especially on hot running diesel engines. Next thing you know, your driveway has oil spots, or your engine runs a quart low without you realizing it. Always replace the washer when you change oil. They cost less than a dollar, but they save you from a $5,000 repair. Common mistake. Always change that small washer. It's cheap protection. Mistake number five, pouring in too much oil. Many diesel owners think a little extra can't hurt, but here's the truth. Too much oil can be just as dangerous as too little. When you overfill, the crankshaft whips that oil into foam. Foamy oil doesn't lubricate properly, 
which means your bearings, turbo, and pistons start running dry, even though the dipstick looks full. Always check your oil level after the engine runs for a minute and settles. If it's even slightly above the full mark, drain a little out. Big mistake. Overfilling creates foamy oil that can starve your engine of lubrication. Mistake number four. Ignoring the oil filter brand or quality, oil filters might look the same, but they're not. Some cheap ones barely trap soot or metal particles, and diesel engines create a lot of both. You don't need the most expensive one on the shelf, but always choose filters rated for diesel use, or specifically for your truck's model. Brands like Fleet Guard, Motorcraft, Donaldson, or Baldwin are known for strong filtration and good flow. A weak filter can collapse, under pressure, or bypass dirty oil straight back into your engine. Critical mistake. Always use a high-quality diesel-rated filter. Mistake number three, changing oil without warming the engine. Cold oil drains slow and thick. If you change your oil right after starting the engine, most of the sludge and particles stay stuck inside the pan. The right way, let your truck run for 5-10 minutes until it reaches normal temperature. That helps the oil thin out and carry the soot and metal bits out with it. Then drain it completely while it's still warm. You'll notice it flows faster and cleaner. Common mistake. Warm oil drains better and keeps your engine cleaner. Mistake number two. Using the wrong oil grade. Every diesel engine is designed for a specific viscosity, like 15W40. Using the wrong one can wreck your oil pressure, especially under load or at extreme temperatures. Thicker oil can starve the top end of lubrication on cold mornings. Too thin and it can't handle the heavy loads when towing or climbing steep grades. Always check your owner's manual or the label under your hood. And remember, newer diesels with emission systems often require low ash oils like FA4 or CJ4 to prevent DPF clogging. Major mistake. Using the wrong grade or spec can cause premature engine wear or DPF damage. Mistake number one. Waiting too long between oil changes. This one's the silent killer. I've opened engines with thick black sludge that look like tar, all because the owner thought, it still runs fine, I'll change it next month. Diesel oil picks up soot and contaminants way faster than gas engines. And if you go too long, that soot turns abrasive, slowly grinding down your bearings, turbo and injectors. If you want your diesel to hit 400,000 miles or more, change your oil early, not late. It's a small cost compared to rebuilding an engine. The number one mistake. Delaying oil changes shortens your diesel's life period. So if you learned something new today, hit that like button. It really helps the channel grow. And tell me in the comments what oil brand or grade are you running in your diesel right now? I'd love to know what's working best for you guys. Thanks for watching and as always, keep those diesels running smooth.